You are watching God City International Church Power Touch Daily Devotional with Pastor Mrs. Mary Murakinyo. Hallelujah! Glory be to God. You are welcome to Power Touch Daily Devotional. My name is Pastor Mrs. Lushi Mary Murakinyo. It's time for Power Touch Daily Devotional. Today is Thursday, 21st of September 2023. What is stagnation? What is stagnation? Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. The Lord our God spake unto us in glory, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this month. Turn you and take your journey and go to the month of the Amorites and unto all the places nigh thereunto, in the plain, in the hills, and in the well, and in the south, and by the seaside. To the land of the Canaanites and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. The word of wisdom for today says, Any life that is not recording measurable progress and advancement is definitely retrogressing. Any life that is not recording measurable progress and advancement is definitely stagnated. Knowledge is a major key in this kingdom. And it is a major key you need to get if you must obtain deliverance from the captivity of the devil. Hosea 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Many have stayed in a position for years because they are not aware that stagnation is an agent of destruction. So, what is stagnation? Stagnation means you have overstayed and overspent your time in a place. Luke chapter 8, verse 22. Luke 8 and 22. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples, and he said unto them, Let us go over onto the other side of the lake, and they launched forth. There is an allotted time you are to spend in a particular position. When you have spent more than your allotted time, then stagnation has set in. What is stagnation? Stagnation means time has passed and nothing has been achieved. Purpose in life must be achieved on time. If you spend so much time in achieving a purpose, it looks outdated by the time you are through with it. It is not enough to have a purpose you must also make sure it is achieved on time. Exercise chapter 3 verse 1 says, He had made all things beautiful in his time. There is a set time for the vision that God gave to you. When you waste time over it, it cannot be reallocated. So don't waste time in achieving things. The Lord will fast forward your life and give you speed in destiny in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 13, verse 7. Luke 13 and 7. Then said he unto the dresser of his vine, Behold, these three years I have come seeking food on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why could it eat the ground? When there is no change over a period of time in a life, such a life is stagnated. Time only has value when changes have taken place over it. What do we do? Our assignment today says, be convinced that you need progress and then be committed to prayer. It's time for us to pray together. Say after me, everyone say, Father, I thank you for the revelation knowledge of your word. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, deliver me and everything I represent for power of stagnation. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, I make a demand of total recovery of my time and season that I have lost in the battle of life. Say, Father, I ask that the power that wants me to disappoint heaven as touching my destiny shall be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, open my spiritual eyes and my spiritual ears to always see and hear divine instruction in the name of Jesus. Power in the Holy Ghost. Jacob Sakata Bozakota. 
We break the yoke of stagnation today. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. From today, your life shall begin to record measurable progress and advancement in all areas of your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus, once again, we decree preservation of lives and properties. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Pray powerful, amen. Amen. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you. Your day is blessed. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. God City International Church Power Touch Daily Devotional with Pastor Mrs. Mary Morakinyo. 